Folks, we are back with another video. It's 2024 and I'm actually testing out the M2 MacBook Air 15 inch. I got this deal for $9.99 at Best Buy. This has the metal test uh, settings rendering running, which gives it better frames per second and everything is maxed out. So we are doing a quick time recording at 160 FPS per second, uncapped everything at very high. And I also have an iPhone. And unfortunately I did not get in game recording even though you see here that i did the black hole with the quicktime recording so i'm not exactly sure what happened but yes everything specked out the max retina resolution full screen uncapped fps and we are getting around 200 plus fps settings which i think is really good for a 999 machine of course people could argue otherwise the main points i wanted to make on this video is um, i'm primarily still having bluetooth issues so i am plugged in with this device i'll leave a link in the comment it's a quiet click pretty nice and it has a usb dongle which is not supposed to be bluetooth which i found have better kind of control settings on the mouse lastly i want to point out that um, the audio at the end of this video is from the iphone so we can obviously hear that there's no clicking and if that interests you in a quiet gaming mouse i'll leave a link below it's an affiliate amazon link um, and yeah really <laughs> if you saw my previous video or you want to look at a full review, I made one yesterday on a different type of um, videos that I've made usually on my channel. I'm trying to move out of just screen recording and testing. Um, so that video only unfortunately had 152 views, very sad day. But going back to what's working for me, um, yeah, I'm trying to get out of gaming. You see here, less gaming on the M2 MacBook Air, more productivity. And in this case of getting a channel running, making the standard videos. Now, as I mentioned, this video is from Best Buy. The deal ends February 5, which is in two days of time of recording. It's been on for a week. You get every model and a 16 gigabyte version. All the models, 15 inch are on sale, $300 off. Surprisingly, the 13 inch is not on sale. So um, if you're getting in the same price point and you're in a micro center, you can actually see that these are what you could compare to from a refurbished m1 pro device at the same size profile of 16 inches or you could get a open box or a 14 inch which is smaller m1 pro for a thousand and then if you want an m1 max in my area you get one for two thousand dollars now comparing the weight the 16 inch m1 pro is four pounds well you can get the m2 macbook air for 999 but this one is kind of a lighter profile, 3.3 pounds. So depending on what you're looking for, you may want to pick up this device. I gave my reasons in the previous video of the channel. Well, that was pretty good for a one take audio stream of conscious of the M2 MacBook Air. Overall, I'll leave you this video with the uh, iPhone 15 audio over my shoulder. This is where the sound's coming from. Um, so any clicking or non-clicking, you hear this is the keyboard typing from the iPhone. Um, so anything you hear is the iPhone recording. No fans on this machine, so that may be a benefit to some people considering getting this device. And lastly, I wanna compare what I found online to M1 Pro videos. As I mentioned, you could get the 16 inch M1 Pro or the 14 inch M1 Pro for about $100 more. And some people may consider that because technically it is better specs, but let's take a look at what I found on YouTube. So a quick YouTube search. This is the only video I found, LOL, on Mac OS. Nine subscribers, but it appears he has the meta, metal beta turned on at 220 frames per second. So this video um, can give you an idea of what it is. And here on the M2, uh, if you purchase this device for 9.99, I was getting around 170 frames per second. But keep in mind that the resolution, or sorry, the FPS of this machine, the refresh rate, only is 60 FPS while the MacBook Pros have ProMotion at 120 frames per second. Let me know in the comments if this is what you were hoping to pick up on the deal for the 15 inch MacBook Air. I know a lot of people have you know, decisions if they want to do eight gigabytes versus 16 gigabytes. And I gave my longer take video thoughts on that in the previous video, but in my opinion, for what I'm trying to accomplish at 999, just saving, quote unquote, saving money, um, this is the machine that has a lightweight profile in which I am just looking to make kind of personal YouTube channels um, and it does it well with my work stream of iPhone, iPhone videos at 4K, barely any 
edits and stuff of that nature and having a light profile at the bigger screen. But let me know your thoughts on decision making. If this, this is the machine for you, be sure to check out the affiliate link below in the comment section and you can pick this up at Best Buy for $9.99. Click that link, I get $5. All right, folks, enjoy the rest of the ARAM footage.